Hi, I'm Rob Bailey, and today I'm here to share with you my morning routine. Today's video is sponsored by Onward. This is a company that I own with a product that I created eight years ago. To give you a quick rundown of the product, uh, first of all, Green Apple, it's our flavor of the month. Starting now, it's 25% off. So it's immune support, sustained energy, mood enhancement, and focus. So essentially, I was taking a bunch of supplements, right? I was taking things with caffeine, things with focus, and I was taking um, like emergency packets not to get sick because I do a lot of different things. And I realized I can create a product that does all of those things. So right now, 25% off on Green Apple. That's what I use to keep myself going through the day. Hey, but let's get in my morning routine. If we're gonna talk my morning routine, it starts the night before. One of the most important things I can do for tomorrow morning tonight is pack. I always lay out my clothes the night before, so I don't need to think at all in the morning. Outfit's already done. Next. Lucky enough that Dana preps and brings all my food to work to keep me on diet. Again, I don't need to think. Next, I get the coffee ready and I put a shaker full of water because I have a hard time drinking water, so I get it ready so I don't need to think in the morning. Next, I go over my notes. I write down what I have to do the next day, the big things I'm trying to accomplish, and then I carry over the things that I might have missed today. To-do list. This also helps to sort of cement it in my brain prior to starting the day tomorrow. So I go to sleep with it fresh, and when I wake up, I wake up with purpose. Next. Finalize packing my bag, so I don't need to think tomorrow. Take those little motherfuckers, because they make me sleep a little bit sleepier. Good night, Kaya. All right, just to recap, that doesn't take me very long. My morning routine starts the night before. So normally half an hour before I go to bed, I take care of all these little things. Clothes, coffee, water, to-do list, pack, and sleep gummies. As much as I can do the night before, so the next morning, I don't need to think. One of the cool things about Montana right now is our days are insanely long. So as I press the coffee button, I pick up my water that I'm so bad at staying hydrated and I sit down and I, and I just enjoy the sun. When coffee's ready, I drink coffee. I get my stuff. All right, so that takes about half an hour to get out of there. Um, if you guys noticed, I do a lot of sitting. I do a little bit of meditation, just a little bit of thought. But the one thing that I don't do is I have no inputs. So when I was just in my house, I wasn't on my phone. Um, I don't check emails, text messages. I actually don't look at anything on my phone or on the way to work. Even having the camera here is a little weird right now. Uh, but I drive in silence to work, uh, which is about another half an hour. So the first hour of my day, there's no real inputs. I'm just sort of going over the things I need to do and trying to let myself, you know, come to life. Um, the old me, yes, inputs like crazy. Um, and I didn't give myself this time, but I'm about two months into no inputs for the first hour. So let's get back to driving. So I write my week schedule out on my whiteboard. I look at the overall themes, what I have to do, make sure I'm not missing any big events, and then I get to the gym. Let's talk caffeine consumption. So 
I drink about two cups of coffee at the house. We're sitting at 130, 140 milligrams of caffeine. So when I get to work, I don't need any caffeine. And I go right with big noise, non-stim pre. So one of the reasons that I train first is because as my day goes on, I lose interest. My brain starts to spiral and I've noticed if I don't do it first thing, I don't do it. So it has to be prioritized. We're getting close. So I just wrapped up training. Um, in the past, I've, I've done training, then sauna, then ice bath, then shower. But now because I have my first meeting to start the day with the entire staff, I try to wrap up training, I get my shake in, and I try to prepare a little bit for the meeting. And then it's on to our 8 a.m. meeting. Now, what our 8 a.m. meeting is, I found that uh, one of the things we struggle with here is communication, right? throughout the years we've struggled with communication. So now every single morning we have a meeting where we go over not only the day, but the entire week and the rest of the month. Super communication. Let's see, that would be great. You go. <laughs> meeting done, here we go. So now next, uh, I normally take phone calls in the hangar. I've started taking phone calls and doing meetings on the treadmill and I have a treadmill in my airplane hangar. So it gives me a good excuse to get out of the building real quick. It's two minute drive up the street and I get to do cardio in a really interesting location. Bury me under the mountain, deep in the rock among the gods, drowning in the immortal fountain. After that, if I have a little bit more work to do, uh, I'll sit down in these chairs and we'll watch airplanes land and take off and I get my notes ready. So today, the big notes that I'm getting ready are I have a coaching call at 12. So today's coaching call that I'm prepping for is the 10 pillars that support a healthy relationship. So they're developed for your personal relationship, your marriage, but I'm also relating them to business and employees and creating culture. So uh, I'm gonna sit here and do this for a little bit, and then I gotta get back for my live call, so I gotta get back and shower. Columbia, I love you, mama. Columbia, I love you so. Wrap us in the Star Spangled Banner. Hold us close and don't let go. And that is my morning routine. Now, the reason I have a morning routine is because I have enough decisions to make, to be honest. Uh, throughout the day, I have enough big decisions to make, so I try to structure my morning so I get all the things done that I need to get done, that I don't need to think about, that I know I don't need to do, that don't need to be a fucking decision. So, I'm interested to hear what do you guys have in your morning routine, or what do you wish you had? Drop them in the comments. You know, I'm about a month away from revisiting mine, so, Maybe I'll add some of yours in. Ooh, and thank you. Thanks for showing up. It's day 31. And remember, 25% off Apple Onward. I told you about that already. What's up, bud? It's go time. Rest of my day starts now.